DJ Pro for the iPad and DJ Pro for the laptop are both amazing softwares. And in this short video, I'm going to show you some of the best features side by side with both devices so you can decide which device is better for you. This video is sponsored by Murica AI, an amazing AI music generation software. And all of the tracks I'm using in this video were created in Murica AI. So check out the link down below to get started. So the first difference is going to be the the music sources and library. On the laptop, you're going to have a bigger view of your of your playlist and your music sources while still getting while still having access to most of the features in the software. So if you look over here, we have our jog wheels, we have a mixer section here, and then almost half the screen of our laptop is for our library. We can organize our tracks and set up our playlist. Now with the iPad, right now I am in pro mode, which is another thing. They both have different modes, so we'll get to that after. I'm in pro mode, so if I want to go to my library, press it over here, and now we do get a big view. Almost the whole screen is the library, but we lose almost every feature besides the crossfader, Nero Mix, Q, and Play. But now if we go to classic mode and go to library, we get to keep like three quarters of the screen and then uh, the strip here that takes up a little bit less than a quarter of the screen is for our library. So making playlists and playing music is obviously very important when you're DJing and I believe that the laptop the laptop is better, slightly better in this scenario, is slightly better at being able to see your playlist, partly due to the fact that laptops usually have a bigger screen than the iPad. Next, let's talk about view modes and ex ex expansions. So here we are on the laptop. In this view right here, we have our emulated record decks, which are very similar to the ones in classic mode on the, on the iPad. And we have a mixer, and then we have some features down here, and obviously a crossfader, and then our library. So in this view view mode, we do have access to a lot more stuff at the same time than in this view mode on the iPad. Now we could open ex expansions by having a mixer here. We could open and have waveforms here if we wanted to, and then we could put this in the middle. But you're going to get most of the you're going to get more features at the same time in Pro mode. So now we are in Pro mode, and then we have jog wheels waveforms and then all the features down here and we even get a mixer section so now if you want to change view modes on the ipad we're going to press the middle button and there are all these different view modes starter auto mix classic pro looper one deck four deck and video now it's a little bit different on the laptop over here to our top right is going to be our view modes but we get a lot less so here it is side by side but we get two deck mode, which is very similar to pro mode. It's basically the pro mode for the laptop. We get one deck mode. We get auto mix. Four deck mode, video mode, and and that's it. So on the iPad, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different view modes. On the laptop, we only get one, two, three, four, five. So it's less view modes, but the difference is with the laptop, if we go back to two deck mode, we get what they call expansions. So let's start over here at the left. This one is going to give us access to our cue points. So that's going to be similar to the cue point section if you adjust your features down here in pro mode. So we get cue points, we could press the drop down menu, pitch cue, slice and skip. And then here we get loops. You could do manual loops, automatic loops. And then here we could adjust the beat grid. With the iPad, it's going to be down here. So you could have the cue points or you could have the, the loops like that. Now let's do the next expansion. Here we have FX, and the cool thing about the laptop is you could have all of these out at the same time. Yes, our library gets smaller, but now we have access to our cue points and our effects. Three effects at the same time with the parameters, and you could change them. If you wanted to do effects for the iPad, you're just going to go over here, the one the second from the last, and then we have our 
effects. You could do pad, instant, or manual. Very similar, a little bit easier to see because it's bigger, but oh, but a little bit harder in the same way. Next, we have Neuromix, and we could open up the Neuro Neuromix extension, which is going to be similar to if we open up the Neuromix feature here. But again, now we have Neuromix effects and cue points or loops that we could use at the same time. Here, it's a little bit more difficult because you're gonna have to switch back from Q to Neuromix. So the laptop does a little bit better at being able to do more stuff at the same time with these expansions. Also, we could open up our looper. So now we have everything, a very small strip for our library. We have the looper and the sampler here and still didn't lose those other features that I just talked about. For the iPad, if we open up the looper, we lose all of those features that I was talking about. We still get the features up here, but we're going to lose some of the features that we were using over here, including our mixer. So again, laptop is going to have more stuff, but in part because it has a bigger screen. So I'm just going to put these all down for now so we can see the ones on the other side. This one is called the toolbar. And now this one is going to make it very similar to pro mode in for the iPad, we have our jog wheels here. We have a mixer here, lows, mids, and highs. And then over here, you could choose if you want your cue points or if you want your loops. So it's similar. This one has five different features. This one only has three, but now it's going to be similar with this little square here that's gonna have our features. So I'm gonna click for both devices on the loops. So very similar with the loops, but now you could see your library down here. On the iPad, you can't see your library. Same thing with effects. You could have the effects there and still see your library. The next one that I'm gonna open is gonna open our waveforms. So like that, we get waveforms uh, in DJ Pro. For the iPad, we have our waveforms over here, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. So you do get a view of our waveforms. It is a little smaller on here. Next thing is gonna be controls. With the laptop, you do have a full keyboard with some amazing touch controls, with, with some amazing keyboard shortcuts that you can use. And you can also use two fingers to scratch and two fingers to change knobs instead of pressing and pulling, which makes it pretty, pretty cool. It's kind of like having a touchpad like a lot of controllers have. With the iPad, they do have some really good innovative touchscreen controls. The jog wheel works very good for scratching. If you put two fingers on the jog wheel, it automatically cuts. And then also if you move the crossfader to one side and press the bottom button, you press the crossfader to the middle, you could have it snap back and forth. So they both have intuitive designs for how you control them. And if you wanna learn more about the touchscreen controls on the iPad, check out this video over here. Thank you.